Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Have you ever lost a piece of a game? You know, like a puzzle piece or money from your Monopoly game? It's such a bummer when you lose a piece of your favorite toys. Well, what did you do when you lost a piece? Did you try to solve the problem by creating something new? Like using cardboard pieces to replace the lost puzzle piece? or draw money on a piece of paper to replace the missing ones from the Monopoly game. Well, if you have done something like this, you were in the shoes of an engineer. Well, you might ask, what's an engineer and what do they do? Good questions. So let's dive into the world of engineering and find out. Engineers fix problems. They make observations, gather information on something that people need or want to change, and use their creativity and knowledge in math and science to develop a new or improved object or tool. For example, take a look at Eric's desk. It's so messy with all these pencils all over it. Well, let's create a solution to help him to get organized. We could create something like an origami pencil holder. Yeah, it'll organize all of his pencils, by color even and it'll be way easier for him to find the one he's searching for. Ew. But how are we going to do that? Well, there are a number of steps that an engineer goes through when building something to solve a problem. First, an engineer has to make a plan. Then, they sketch their idea or make a design. And this allows their imagination to transform from just a thought in their mind to a drawing of what they need to build. Next, they build the solution using their drawing. After this, they're still not done. They need to test to make sure what they've built will solve the problem it was made for. If their solution works, they approve the design. This whole process is called the Engineering Design Process, or EDP. So, if we go back to making a solution to hold Eric's pencils, we can follow the EDP. First, we need to draw what our pencil holder will look like. Now, after drawing a few sketches and editing them, we know what we need. Different color paper, glue, and scissors. Now, we can take the papers and glue them together the way our drawing shows. Now, we're going to let the glue dry, and then we're going to come back and test it. Now to test it, you can add three pencils. Oh no, it collapsed. Well, that's okay. Engineers test things so that they can figure out how to improve their design. In order to improve the design of our pencil holder, we're gonna make it sturdier than what it is right now. So let's fold our paper in two before we glue the paper together so it's thicker and stronger. And awesome. It works now. Engineers have solved so many different problems throughout time. In fact, most man-made tools today have been invented in this way. Like the cell phone, for example. Not so long ago, cell phones didn't even exist. People only had landlines. Crazy, right? It kind of worked because people could still get in touch with one another most of the time, but not all the time. So imagine the dilemma you'd be in if your mom told you that she'll check up on you at some point in the afternoon and call on the landline. But you learn that your favorite donut shop is giving out donuts for free to the first 50 people that show up in the store. So you really have no spare time. Well, what do you do? Do you go out for a free donut and let your mom down? Or do you stay at home and let your tummy down? That's how people figured out that it would be mighty cool to have a phone that doesn't need wires to work. And boom! Some pretty smart engineers worked very hard on this and invented the cell phone. And maybe not exactly because of donuts and moms, but you know what I mean. Now let's look at another example. Back in the day before cars were invented, people used to walk or ride a horse or a bike to get around. But people needed to go further and wanted a faster way to get from one place to another. And that's when, back in the late 1800s, a German engineer named Carl Benz found the solution. It was sort of a tricycle with a motor engine. His wife tested it by taking their son to her mom's house 62 miles away. 
And over time, the original design has seen a ton of change. Engineers have now designed self-driving cars even. And they're even working on a flying car. How cool is that? Let's look at another one. From ancient times, people have always dreamt of being able to fly. So in 1903, after four years of scientific experimentation, two brothers named Wilbur and Orville Wright invented the first airplane. It looked like an oversized kite that could hold one person. But airplanes have evolved a lot since then and can now be big enough to carry a small town. Let's recap. Is an engineer essentially a problem solver? Exactly. An engineer is a person who designs and builds things with the idea of creating solutions to life's small and big problems. Like build buildings where we can live, or roads and bridges to connect cities and towns, or build airplanes, trains, and cars so that we can get from one place to another faster. There are various types of engineers. Some engineers work on making better cell phones. Others build airplanes and design self-driving cars. No matter what kind of engineer it is, the common thing among them all is that they all design, build, and test things to solve our problems. Well, now that you know more about engineers, come on with me to our next mighty lesson.